and we are back pokemon omega ruby hardcore nuzlocke the run continues we have made it to the fourth and final member of the elite four here and it is going to be drake and his dragons i am feeling really good about this we have done fantastic for these first three fights against the elite four and i don't think this one's going to be any different um salamence is a little bit scary uh kingdra always is a problem but my team is really well equipped to deal with dragons um, that Mawile is just an absolute monster, is going to have some amazing defensive coverage and then can just slap all of the dragons with the fairy typing. So if Gyarados runs into a wall and needs to get out of there, we also have the Swamper and the Walrene with Ice Beams ready to go. Um, Minin probably will take a backseat and just cheer from the stands. He's doing a great job right there. Um, but man, we have so many options, but let's see if Gyarados can really lay claim here and uh, show Drake what we're working with. We've got different berries and such on each of the Pokemon, and let's just dive right in. Let's do this thing. So he's going to send out Altaria first, and honestly, Altaria is working with Aerial Ace, Cotton Guard. Uh, that was really intense by Drake there. Uh, Dragon Pulse and Moon Blast. So not a terrible move set, but also not one that is very well equipped to stop Gyarados from really doing whatever he wants. So also the 5% miss chance on Ice Fang could be detrimental. So we just have to watch out for that. So we're going to get that first Dragon Dance down and see what Altaria does. So Altaria responds with Cotton Guard and it's going to double its defense. But like... I, I don't I don't think that's going to really change our game plan here. We're going to get two Dragon Dance, so we are plus two attack, plus two speed. She is plus two defense and gets a Dragon Pulse, which is going to do uh, stab damage. Um, but as you can see, it's just not enough. And we're just going to push the envelope here a little bit more and get three Dragon Dance and see where Altari is at. I don't want to drop too low in case maybe the Kingdra or Flygons, or especially the Salamance, get an open window here. So I think that is going to be where I, I draw the line. On three Dragon Dance, we are going to be faster than all of them by far, and Gyarados' base attack is already so high. So let's go for the Ice Fang. It does have that tiny, tiny mischance, though, and Gyarados goes straight in. Hey, from Darker Than Black, absolute legend right here, right now. Altaria falls. We have four more Dragons to go. And I'm assuming straight into the Salamance is what I would do if I was Drake. Yep. Okay. So this is huge. This is absolutely huge. Ice Fang should kill. It is four times super effective and we still have plus two attack. We are faster. But if Ice Fang misses and he uses Thunder Fang and it connects, it'll be four times and he will kill Gyarados. So all or nothing, Ice Fang for the win. And it connects absolutely now. If this doesn't kill, okay, we are so good because that was also four times super effective. So that was a really big like stare down from both dragons there. I know Gyarados doesn't have the dragon typing, but both monstrous Pokemon staring each other down. And now I do believe the hurdle has been surpassed. Flygon does have Rock Slide, um, which could be an issue, but... I, I honestly think Gyarados could eat one rock side if we do happen to miss an Ice Fang. So Gyarados is just going hardcore into the Dragon Sweep right now. Um, and I don't think Drake has anything that he can answer with unless Gyarados misses. So it is all in the, the hands of Hay here. If he wants to connect with the Ice Fang, it is over. And that is what he's doing. Absolutely and now the only Pokemon left is the Kingdra, which we can't hit for super effective. Um, however, Earthquake is a base 100, and this is going to do massive damage, uh, plus two attack with Earthquake. I don't think this kills Kingdra unless it crits, but man, is it going to do a lot of damage, and it goes all the way to nothing. Um... And I do believe we have to roll the Earthquake one more time, even though we're going to fall asleep here. And I think I misplayed by giving Gyarados the... If I would have just gave Gyarados the Lumberry, that would be GG. But I gave it a Citrus instead. So we are going to roll the dice on another Earthquake here. 
Um, we are probably going to fall asleep. The full restore does come down. Um, and let's see where Hay leaves us with this damage. The first one was the high roll there. So we got the low roll on that one with Earthquake. We are now asleep. Okay, okay, okay. I do believe we just pivot into the Mawile who completely walls off the Kingdra and then just take him out from there. I think that's the safest and smartest play. Let's do it. Arslan coming back in, tapping Hay on the back, saying, well done, sir, you got this. You go take a rest and let me finish the job here. Arslan comes down, gets the Intimidate onto Kingdra. Won't matter too much because of the special attacks that Kingdra is operating with, but Dragon Pulse is not very effective. I'm sorry, Dragon Pulse doesn't even affect because of the fairy typing. Um, so he's definitely going to go Surf, which is going to do good damage since it's Stab and Special. But at the end of the day, uh, Mawile is going to play rough, and Kingdra is just going to have to tank this right on its face, and it cannot. Just completely falls. The King has fallen. I repeat, the Kingdra has and so a massive Gyarados showing there and a really nice cleanup by Mawile and just swift work of the Elite Four and all of that leads to Steven. We have all six Pokemon intact. Steven's team is going to be by far the hardest, but man, we have really showcased how everyone on this team is just so strong and fantastic and how they cover each other's backs so well. So let's go fight Steven and see if we can successfully complete this hardcore Nuzlocke. I am so amped. I'm so ready to go. Let's do this. As always, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it. And I will catch you on the flip. Peace.